question number one. So this is the graph of f of x equal to negative x squared plus x plus 6. So the question asking you to sketch the graph of f of x form when the following values change. So first look at the knots that I have here. So the first part is for the quadratic functions with the a greater than 0. So this is the graph. The larger the value of a. So in this example from 1 over 2 to 1 and to 2, the width of the graph decreases. And for part B is for the quadratic functions with the a less than 0, which is negative. So this is the graph. The smaller the value of a. So in this example, it's from negative 1 over 2 to negative 1 and to negative 2. The width of the graph decreases. So for questions a1, the value of a changed from negative 1 to negative 3, which the value of a is getting smaller. Therefore, the width of the graph decreases. So this is the graph of f of x equal to negative 3x squared plus x plus 6. So this function, both of these functions have the y intercept equal to 6. So both of the graph will intersect the f of x here at the point 6. And for a2, the value of a changed from negative 1 to negative 1 over 4 which the value of a is getting bigger. Therefore, the width of the graph increases. So this is the graph of f of x equal to negative 1 over 4 x squared plus x plus 6. So both of these functions have the same y-intercept, which is positive 6. So both of the graph will intersect the f of x here at the point 6. Question B, the value of B changed to negative 1. So for question B, the functions that we want to sketch is f of x equal to negative x squared minus x plus 6. The difference for these functions is at the value of B. One is negative 1, the other one is a positive 1. Now the points here is the maximum points of these functions. Now you can find the coordinate x of this maximum points using the formula x equal to negative b over 2a. So when you insert the b here which is a positive 1 into the formula, the a is negative 1 in this case, so you're going to get a positive 1 over 2. Therefore the maximum points of these functions is on the right hand side of the graph. Now, let us move back to these functions. These functions also have maximum points as the value of a is less than 0. Now, you can also find the coordinate x of these maximum points using the same formula. So here the b will be negative 1. The a is negative 1. So when you solve it, you're going to get negative 1 over 2. Therefore, the maximum points of these functions is on the left-hand side of the graph. And for these two functions, as both of them having the same C, value of C, which is the y-intercept, so both of the graph will intersect the fx here at the point 6. So this is the graph of the questions B look like. Question C, the value of C changed to negative 2. So the graph that we want to sketch for C is f of x equal to negative x squared plus x minus 2. So these two functions, the difference are at the value of C. Now these two functions having the same value of A and B, therefore the shape of the graph is unchanged. The change in value of C only affect the position of graph either moving vertically upwards or vertically downwards. So for this question C, the value of C, the value of C changed from positive 6 to negative 2. Therefore, the graph is going to move vertically downwards. So this is the graph of question C look like. And here will be negative 2.